everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video today just talking about a couple of things that I've done in the garage. Now, my vehicles were, were both driven by me and uh, driven by my wife. And I just wanted to uh, just talk a little bit about some of the stuff that I've done to protect the car from, I'm not going to name names, but from somebody, I guess, doing some damage to the car. Uh, as you can see behind me, I've placed a little tennis ball on a rope just a little hook, and that tells you when to stop the car um, so that you don't go too far and start hitting, you know, either things that are on the ground over there or hitting the wall. Uh, and, and also the way that I measured it is just making sure that the garage door will close, um, you know, that you have a little bit of space here on the side um, so that the door won't, won't hit, you know, the car when it comes down. So that's one of the things I've done to kind of protect, um, you know, so when, you, when you're driving up, as soon as the ball touches the windshield, you know you've gone far enough. It leaves a lot of space in the front of the car. And the other thing that I, that I did here is uh, on the wall, just so that when you open a door, you don't have to really worry about it. I use one of these like uh, noodles, you know, swimming noodles. And, you know, I put in just using a washer and a screw and um, I put these up on the wall so that when you open a door, it doesn't matter if you hit the door or not, you know, it'll just hit that, that noodle. And that way you won't get any scratches on the car. And um, it'll prevent damage to the wall and it'll, pre you know, more importantly, the wall, I really don't care about the wall. I mean, the wall you can repair easily. Um, but just with the vehicle, I just wanted to make sure that you know you're not damaging the door or chipping the paint on the door so those are just two little things that i came up with um just to just to protect the the vehicle and obviously my girls when they come in the, you know when they're in the in, in the truck i make sure that they know not to rub up against the car my girls know how daddy is with his car so you know, they keep their hands off, they keep their backpacks away, and I try to park it, you know, the car as far, as close to the wall as I can on this side, so they have a lot of room. But also, with the, with the wrap that I have on there, um, you know, that's something that I honestly, I don't even worry about the girls, you know, coming through with their backpacks, because, you know, uh, it's something that the wrap, you know, if anything, the wrap will get scratched. And honestly, the wrap is very resilient. Um, it's, you know, I, I still don't have any scratches on the car. You know, it's been several months since I, since I've had the wrap and the car is actually pretty dirty right now. Um, but that's one thing I like is you can't really tell, um, with the wrap. Uh, so definitely it's something where that's another advantage of, uh, of wrapping the car. And I'm really happy about that. Uh, so those are just some tips that I have, um, you know, making sure, you know, trying to keep the car from getting damaged and, you know, how to protect it while it's in the garage. All right, you all take care. I am just asking you, if you like my videos, go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, and I'll keep making more of them for you. Take care.